Here is a funny recap of the latest Google presentation. AI, 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 generative AI, generative AI, 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 machine learning, AI, AI, semantic understanding, generative AI, 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 AI. Yes, it definitely feels like AI is everywhere. I found this poll stating that 85% of American workers have already used AI to perform tasks at work. And while many people are afraid that AI will replace them, a better strategy would be to learn how to utilize this technology and actually increase your business performance. I've tried approximately a hundred of AI tools and in this video I will share the top ones for your business. I have another video in which I discuss some mind-blowing AI tools to start a business and I cover specific use cases in that video which I will not be repeating today so be sure to check it out as well. The first one on our list is Gamma.app. There are many AI tools tools available for presentations and previously I mentioned using Canva, however a few days ago I came across this new application which is finally capable of creating an entire presentation by AI. Check it out. I type in the topic, say, review management SaaS for SMB. This is what I actually built a few years ago. And their AI offers an outline, which is very well structured. If I was to do it myself, I couldn't do it better. Then it creates an entire presentation, which is really far from generic. For instance, in this slide, understand the importance of online reviews for SMBs. The statistics presented here are very compelling. I've spent hundreds of hours researching this industry and there are many different statistics available, but the AI selected exactly those that matter the most. Or this slide with customer success stories. It's unbelievable. We actually had the exact same use cases in real life. Obviously, you can edit everything, change the text, replace the images, and you can edit the presentation also with AI, asking to give it another look and feel, for example. I think I am so impressed because it is not just a design template, but rather a combination of well-structured and appealing design and content. Moving on, the second tool will be useful if you use spreadsheets. I use spreadsheets all the time and not only for my work. Numerous.ai enables you to extract text, categorize data, generate formulas and utilize ChatGPT directly within your spreadsheet. What I really like about this software is its ability to generate formulas using plain English. I have always struggled with advanced formulas, but now I can simply describe the type of formula I need and Numerous will generate it for me. And it works the other way around as well. When I receive a spreadsheet from my colleagues containing complex formulas that I don't understand, this tool would be able to explain them also in plain English. The next tool is brandbird.app. This is an image editor primarily designed for startup founders. It allows you to turn your site screenshots into nice looking images. You can scale it, change the background, add a 3D effect, and you don't need a designer for that anymore. It is useful for founders to share screenshots of their software updates on social media while making them more visually striking. Or just, you know, making the look and feel of the website more professional by using these types of images instead of just screenshots. The next one on our list is oxalo.com. Say you have an e-commerce store. With Oxalo, all you need to do is enter the URL of your product listing and it will automatically generate a video featuring AI powered actors. You can share your videos on social media, your own website or e-commerce platforms. They also support many languages making it even more flexible. So all you need to do is take your product listing, for example from Amazon, paste it into the software, select the target platform, target language and click create. And let's see what the result looks like. Are you ready for refreshing tasty juice without all the time and effort? Then say hello to the Gricho Portable Blender. Gricho's single-serve blender features intelligent power-off protection made with food-grade eco-friendly material. Well, to be fair, the product is still in its beta version and it is very clear that the avatar is actually generated by AI. However, it may still meet some of your requirements if you are just testing a product for dropshipping, for example. Anyway, the decision to use it or not will be entirely up to you, so let's move on. The next tool is Tami.ai, which allows you to summarize YouTube videos. And you probably think 
thing, another tool for video summaries, because I've seen a lot of them. I just want to show you a use case in which scenario I find it very useful. So whenever I start a business, I spend hundreds of hours researching the industry, listening to interviews, lectures, and similar resources. For example, two years ago, when I built a marketplace, I had to watch many videos on YouTube, such as this one on how to kickstart and scale a marketplace business. The video duration is over one hour. Now, to save time, I can paste the video URL into this tool and get a concise summary with very well-structured bullet points. By spending five minutes reviewing them, I can quickly understand if there is any valuable information. And if I find something useful, I can jump directly to that part of the video and avoid wasting time listening to things I already know. And for the same reason, to save time during your research phase, I've added another tool to the list called chatdoc.com. It enables you to communicate with documents. One of my favorite use cases is market research. Typically, the reports on industry analysis are huge and quite confusing, and I need to spend many hours reading a lot of reports to answer simple questions. What are the market size, market trends, market growth, and so on. Here you can upload these reports and simply ask the relevant questions. You can also follow up with additional questions until you get your desired answers. Additionally, you can better understand complicated tables by asking it to draw a conclusion from the data in the table. Or you can upload some terms and conditions and get the answers to your questions in plain English right away instead of spending a lot of time reading those huge legal documents by yourself. Tool number seven on our list is Mixo.io. Launch a startup in seconds with AI. So they claim to help entrepreneurs quickly launch and validate their business ideas. I love how they put it. Basically, this is a site builder, very similar to Durable.com, which I showed in the previous video, but this one seems to be a little bit cheaper. The idea is the same. You put in your startup idea, click generate site, and AI builds a ready to use site template for you. You get something like this. Everything is of course customizable. You can change the text, the images, and the template is mobile responsive. These guys tried to narrow down their use case to testing startup ideas instead of building any websites. So perhaps the look and feel of their templates are more tailored to tech startups. Anyway, I believe this kind of website template could be useful only to quickly test the business hypothesis, just to have a site in place, you know, to collect some emails or maybe present some value proposition. But of course, for the long-term startup, you'd have to build your own website from scratch because you need to have a full control of it. Moving on, remember, the magic of AI mostly depends on the prompts that you use. So the last tool today is called Flow GPT. This is a great community where people share the best performing prompts for chat GPT. You can check the prompts related to marketing, startups, the trending ones, or just go to the search bar here. They also organize the prompt hackathons with some rewards for the best prompts. So they really try to engage the community and gather the best prompts out there. So make sure to use them. All right, that's it for today. AI is here to stay. It is inevitable. Let's use it for our benefit. We can increase our performance, save time spent for generic tasks, brainstorm our ideas and much more. Thank you very much for watching this video. It would mean a lot for me if you shared your feedback in the comments, as well as any suggestions for the future videos. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon.